It's your boy, Matthew Shack, live here in Los Angeles. Um, welcome to Matthew Shack Unfiltered. Sitting here chilling, watching my Yankees versus the Blue Jays right now. We're down 3-1. We were, we were winning, but my pitching isn't up to par. But hey, man, I'm going to sit here and watch it anyway. Uh, first things first, man, salute to the Unfiltered Nation and the Unfiltered Fam. Okay, make sure you guys run them, run the likes up on this channel, like this video, run it up. Okay, uh, son, here, put this in the trash, bro. Throw this in the trash can. Um, and, uh, you know, sub the channel, like the videos, uh, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time we're on here. And, uh, you know, make sure you tip your bartender. You know, it's uh, Jackie Robinson Day. Salute to Jackie Robinson. You know what I'm saying? The GOAT. And uh, sitting here, man, been here watching this Yankee, Yankees and um, Toronto Blue Jays game. It's the, the top of the fourth inning. We're losing three, three to one. And I'm trying to get my mojo on right now. I'm trying to get my, got my, got my hat on and shit. You know what I'm saying? Of course, of course, with the fitted. You know what I'm saying? Of course, with the fitted, with the, with, with the cap on here, with the captain. The captain's number, you know what I'm saying? That's how we do it, okay? So, yeah, you guys, man, just want to come in, man, talk a little bit uh, about a uh, little bit of update with Rasheed Rice. Uh, you know, Rasheed Rice, uh, the uh, uh, rookie phenom wide receiver for the, uh, uh, for the uh, Kansas City Chiefs is now being sued for about $11 million for that racing car accident that he had in Dallas that involved six cars that involved uh, a few different people with multiple injuries including uh, uh, a brain injury internal bleeding and other stuff and uh, you know man this is a guy who uh, just got into the league last year and now he has this big ass case against him. And also his best friend was driving the other car that he was in charge of, which was uh, he was driving a Lambo. His boy was driving a Z1 uh, Corvette and they were racing and both of them were in Rasheed Rice's name. And like I said before, man, I don't you know, I don't wish bad things on folks, but hey, man, couldn't happen to a nicer guy. All right. Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. And why I say that is, if you remember on Christmas Day, Rasheed Rice was the same guy who uh, went ahead and pulled uh, uh, Jack Jones's mouthpiece out uh, off of his thing, snapped it and chucked it right in front of the reps and didn't get no calls. OK, so loving it, really loving the fact that hey man. What you do with, you know, the, the, uh, the dirty shit you do in the, in, yeah. in the past is going to come back to haunt you later. OK, so I just definitely want to make that clear, man. Ten million dollars for a guy that's only got one year under his belt. Who's on a rookie contract. Sounds like barbecue chicken to me. Now, as far as uh, him not playing him, not uh, uh, playing for the uh, Chiefs. You know, you know, uh, uh, Andy Reid didn't say nothing about that. He said he expects him to be in training camp. He expects him to go to OTAs and all of that. But we all know that uh, Roger Goodell is definitely going to suspend his ass. He will get suspended because it doesn't look like the Chiefs are going to suspend him at all. OK, the Chiefs aren't even saying, hey, man, uh, let's let the legal process play itself out. They're already not even tripping. They're like, OK, because Andy Reid's son did the same shit. Andy Reid's son drove, you know, was driving drunk, uh, injured a four-year-old girl who's going to be uh, on tubes and and taking, uh, you know, uh, um, dialysis the rest of her damn life. OK, and not much happened from him. As a matter of fact, the governor pardoned him, you know, Governor Missouri pardoned him. So, you know, chiefs doing what they normally do, you know, not holding them people accountable. And you know what? That's, it is what it is, man. But. That young kid's still going to have to break that bread. Uh, one of the people who got injured in the crash, they already said they got $71,000 worth of damages. And that's just for the hospital bills. That ain't got nothing to do. Uh, I mean, uh, the property, none of that. Property, the damage of property, six separate cars. 
the uh, poles that they ran into, street property, the vehicles that uh, he was leasing that that he didn't have in his name that he had in his name, and everything else. God. So everything else is all to the good, man. Just want to come in, definitely say that, man. Like I said before, I'm sitting here, you know, got my rally hat on, man. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get, trying to get my Yankees to get something going here, man. You know, uh, we losing, uh, losing uh, uh, three to one at the, at the uh, uh, top of the, uh, top of the fifth inning and stuff. My good, my son got me doing these bubbles and doing all of this. See, man, you got a kid, man. They don't, they don't care. Kids don't care if you're on the phone. They don't care if you're watching the game. They don't care about none of that. All right. Go ahead and play with that yourself, son, son. All right. Uh, and then I was also watching the WNBA. Got to see Caitlin Clark pick number one in the WNBA draft by the Indiana Fever. Uh, she's a professional now. Uh, we're just waiting to see what's going to happen with Angel Reese, man. Last I checked, she hadn't been drafted yet. If she's even going to get drafted, but we'll, we'll soon sign out, find out. And, man, today's Jackie Robinson Day, man. Just appreciating the fact that they're acknowledging the guy that broke the broke the color barrier uh, in the modern era, uh, Jackie Robinson, man, number 42. Everybody got 42 on the back of their jerseys. And uh, it's, it's a – is that a hit? Damn, man. Okay, so I can't keep doing this, bro. Like, I'm on the phone, dog. Okay. All right. These bubbles. All right, man, that's enough. You're going to have to do it yourself, bro. Okay. Uh, so, so that's what's going on, man. Like I said before, sitting here chilling, you know, watching my Yankees. We're not doing too good right now. We're definitely losing. Okay, that's because of that damn pitching. And uh, without no pitching, you can't get nothing done. So I'm not doing it no more, son. I'm not. Okay, find something else to do. All right. So yeah, man. Uh, let's start at coming real quick. See what's going on with you guys. Chop it up with you guys. Uh, see if there's anything you want to talk about. Let me get rid of clowns on here, man. Anybody that's asking me dumbass questions, you need to be asking your mama the same question. Okay? I'm Ask your mama. All right? So, here we go. Yeah. Uh, All right, let's see what's going on with y'all out here, man. Rich, what's going on? What's good? Nice hat there, yeah, man. Yankees, dog. Been a Yankee fan, Yankee fan since 77, dog. I'm going to always rock my shit. I'm trying to get my 10th ring right now. My Yankees are 12 and 4. Great start. If they looking like they looking like dog, like dog behind right now. They're looking like dog behind because my pitcher walked in a run and did a wild pitch on a run. I'm just like, come on, bro. They're not even earning these runs. You're just throwing them in. What a sorry-ass pitcher. Sam Tanker, what's going on? Carlos Sanchez, what's going on? What's up, Los? My boy Los, okay? Uh, what's going on? Herman Lambie, man. What's going on, Herm? Been a minute. Uh, Maurice Ross, what's going on, Reese? Uh, good. Shaq's been a while since making paper. Watch the WA draft to salute to uh, Jelly Robinson Day. Yeah, chilling. Yeah, man, I was watching WNBA draft, man, on my phone while I was watching the Yankees. And once I saw Caitlin Clark go, and then I saw second pick of the draft was the uh, the spark. I'm thinking, okay, they're going to get Angel Reese. And uh, they wound up getting um, Cameron uh, Cameron Brin uh, from, uh, from the uh, Stanford Cardinal. Whose uh, mother, whose uh, a godmother is uh, Steph Curry's mom, Sonya Curry. So uh, that 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 was cool. Sonya Curry was there, so that's cool. All right, we got a run on board. All right, that's what we need. Okay, let's see if we can throw something in. Let's see if we can get on get something popping here, man. Okay. Uh, so yeah, man. Salute to you, man. Big Daddy Murder. What's going on, Pippin? Uh, Key Wavy said, "Why well, the weather like weather's cool today, man? Surprisingly, I'd say it's probably about uh, 60, 68 degrees." Uh, you know, uh, sunlight coming in and out. Not bad. Not bad. You know what I'm saying? I bet you it was pretty windy outside, man. Uh, I would imagine that it's probably kind of windy. Uh, but uh, outside of that, man, it's L.A. You know, that's how we do it. Okay. Bolon said you reap what you sow. You always do. Especially some, especially a lot of these uh, these uh, 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 three-finger trolls that we got in here. We, you know, they always reap what they sow when they get blocked forever. Okay. Here we go. Stolen base. Safe. That's right. That's right, baby. That's right. That's the second stolen base we've been throwing your slow ass. That's right. You slow, bro. You slow, baby. You slow. You slow. You slow. You slow. I ain't trying to get no copyright strike. But you slow, bro. Okay. That, that, that catcher, man. That, we, we, we running on his ass. God. Alfredo uh, uh, says, Travis graduation, too. Uh, threw a beer in front of all the people graduating in college. Chief's good at chief. Yeah, man, I mean, you know, that's, why, that's how it be when people think that they, the, the world revolves around them and then they find out it don't. 
Just a matter of time, bro. Okay. Like I said, man, karma, karma does not, he's, he's not out. No. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Is he out? Are y'all, y'all, y'all trying to, y'all trying to, y'all trying to challenge it? He ain't out, man. Hold on, man. I can see. I got to check this out, man. Oh, that dude is out like a motherfucker, man. Man, your ass is out like a motherfucker, dog. You out. You out, dog. Yeah, you ain't even there, man. He done tagged you on your ass, man. You done, you done bro. Man, fuck, man. Get your, get your slow ass out of here, dog. Guy, Z True, what's going on, Z True? Man, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get my team to win, man. They ain't doing good right now, man. Reese, getting checking out WA, man. All the ladies in the NBA draft looking good. From Caitlin to Angel, beautiful man, man. Shooby doobies, yeah, dog. That's they, that's 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 what it is, man. They don't they don't look like the like the WNBA stars back when I started watching the WNBA stars. It was rough back in them days, dog. It's looking like are you sure this is WNBA and not the not the CBA and shit? Cause they were looking, they were no no ah fuck, man. Come on, man. You gonna Oh my god, man. You leaving people stranded on base, man. Horrible dog. Okay. Angel Reese is gonna be for Chicago. Okay. All right, man. Yeah, that's good for that's good for her. Good for her. I thought I I would have preferred for her to be here in LA, man, but it is what it is. Okay. Um uh, hey, hold on, man. I don't, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know what this guy's talking about, man. Like I said before, now you see him, now you don't. <laughs> I don't understand, bro. Why come over here and just get blocked? I don't get it, bro. I don't know what it is, dog. Okay. Booty bang was going on. Booty bang. Uh, Egalitarian. Hold on a second. Let me get, let me get rid of another another dude who has a nerve. I got a roach with a raider hat on. Okay, let's get rid of this roach with a raider hat, dog. Okay, get your roachy ass out of here. Okay, I pray. So you Laker fan? Yes, I am, dog. Tomorrow, it's going down, man. Going down tomorrow, man. We got the uh, Lakers and the uh, New Orleans Pelicans again. We go ahead and handle our business. Okay, that boy Klaus, Lou got walk half their lineup already. The Yankees still got this. I would hope so, man. I'm like, why aren't we pulling this guy? This Luis Gill is trash, dog. This goose trash. I'm sitting here watching this guy. I'm like, dude, you're not. All his fastball was way out of control, Klaus. His fastball was so high, man. He's throwing a 98 mile an hour fastball a mile over the person's head, bro. I mean, how horrible is that, bro? How horrible is that? Okay. What's going on, man? What's happening? Apocalypse in the house. Okay. Yeah, man, you know, no big deal. Just came in to see what's popping. See what's going on. Uh, we, we, You know, it doesn't have to be a long drawn out live. Uh, but... Looks like the Chiefs are going to be needing them, or needing them a number one receiver again, bro. They're going to have to figure this shit out. This dude's definitely getting suspended. Ain't no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Okay? He's got to be getting suspended. All right? Shout out to Unfiltered Nation in the house. You already know. But, yeah, man, you know, sitting here, Jackie Robinson Day, enjoying the fact that, that you know, the, the league was integrated, you know, 1947. Uh, and and, and it's, it's a good situation, man. Okay, I just wish my Yankees would play a little bit better, man. But it's all about the pitching. Pitching is horrible. Okay, this guy sucks, man. You throw that shit high up there to, to, to Vlad Guerrero Jr., it's going to be in the damn bleachers. Okay. Uh, Booty Bang, who's my favorite tight end of all time or, or, or right now? Okay. Clarify what you mean. You mean of all time or do you mean as of right now playing in the NBA, uh, NFL? Okay. Um. DRA says James Harden, one of the best players I ever saw. I mean, James Harden is 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 a top 75 player, but I've seen I've seen players better than James Harden, dog. You know what I'm saying? James Harden is a great offensive player. He's a great one, a one-on-one -on -one player, but there's other aspects to the game besides scoring. Okay, he could pass now. He's at he has led the NBA in, in, in assists. I give him that. But defensively. Fucking wild pitch again, man. Klaus, are you seeing this fool? Klaus, are you seeing this dude? Man, this dude has no control at all, bro. Come on, man. This dude is soft. He is soft, bro. Okay. Um, uh, who's my favorite tight end ever? Wow. 
Got a lot of got a lot of tight ends I liked. Who was my favorite though? All right, one. Get your ass out of here. Double play. Uh, dude, I have to think about that, man. I really don't have a re uh, favorite tight end, man. Maybe Dave Casper. I probably just say Casper because that's the guy who, you know, um, I'm, I'm more, I'm the most familiar with as far as winning something for me. Probably Casper, man. Probably Casper as far as favorite. But I appreciated a lot of the skill sets of some of the other guys that didn't play for the Raiders. No. Okay. All right, brother Trife, what's going on, Trife? Jackie Robinson Day, bro. Jackie Robinson Day. Okay, what's up, Tiff? Okay, Bev, happy 415 Day. Bay Area on mine, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? What's up, Bev? Carl Sanchez said, what do you rank Grand Hill? He was the Pistons. Grand Hill was, Grand Hill was, should have won, the, he should have won the, um, the rookie of the year by himself. Okay. They, 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 they split the, the, end, the uh, rookie of the year between him and Jason Kidd. And due to the fact that he was playing in the Pistons and the Pistons weren't a team that was uh, formidable, they split it. They split it, but it shouldn't have been no split. Uh, Grant Hill should have won that by himself, dog. Okay, he should have won that. He should have been the rookie of the year by himself. Dude, you walk somebody else. This dude is horrible. Oh my God, how many walks have you did today? Man, we gotta pull. We gotta pull somebody in the bullpen, bro. This is bullshit. Um. Yeah, probably goes to the post. Casper, I give it to Casper. He was the first tight end that ever, you know, made my radar, dog. You know, but there's a lot of other tight ends that I think are good too, man. You know, uh, Raiders probably to me the Raiders have only really had two, uh, maybe three good tight ends in the history of the Raiders. Casper, uh, uh, um, um, Raymond Chester for those of us OGs, and uh, uh, uh. And um, uh, 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 what's his name? Um, Ty, uh, what's his name, man? What's his uh, brother's name? Um, <laughs> running with the night. What's his name? Uh, 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 um, Todd Christensen, Ghost Ring. Yeah, Grant Hill is very underrated. Very underrated, bro. He would have been one of the goats. I think him. Bunch of guys that got hurt that that just ruined their situations. Number one, Grant Hill. Grand Hill crossed up Scottie Pippen on a dunk so bad. So bad. Scottie Pippen, one of the greatest on-ball defenders ever. Grant Hill had, had him on roller skates. Grant Hill crossed his up, two dribbles to the rack, dunked the ball, slapped the backboard. He made Scottie look silly, bro. Him, Anthony Hardaway, better known as Penny Hardaway, another guy that injuries took, took away from. Brandon Roy that used to play for the uh, 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 Portland Trail Blazers was a would have been a, a great player. You know, there's a bunch of guys, bro. It's a bunch of guys. OK. Um, uh, yeah, man. Bev, that's right. Shaxa 21. That's right. On X, on IG. Number sign Shaxa 21 on Cash App. Would you, you think that Linus Lewis is underrated uh, as far as a fighter? No. Nah. I don't think he's underrated. Okay. Our favorite race, I got high hopes for Michael Mayer. We all do, man, but he didn't do nothing last year. Let's just keep it a buck. Hey, babe, go get that money. Uh, Bo Long said, can't forget Darren Waller. Darren Waller was not a great running back, a great, a great tight end for us. Now, he might be on your GOATS list, but I've seen better. I just told you. Okay. I just told you. Darren Waller was okay for, was good for one year, but he doesn't, he doesn't make my, he doesn't make the top three. He probably may be like a top top five or six yeah I, I put him maybe in the top five maybe but he, he was better than casper casper's in the hall of fame raymond chester todd christensen nah okay nah all right can't do it okay dr says lennox is an overread i say overread he boxed a lot of people past the prime he was a ducker i mean shit most of these guys were duckers i didn't say he was great but i don't think he's underrated i don't think he's underrated I don't think he's overrated. I think Lennox Lewis had a little time period that was this long, and that was it. I mean, you know, he beat he beat Holyfield. He beat Tyson. I mean, come on, man. Those guys ain't chopped liver. Okay? All right. Booty Bang Shack. I looked up Ray. Guy, amazing player, the only punter in the Hall of Fame. That's right. 
And don't forget, he was the third string, third string quarterback. Ray Guy was an athlete, bro. Some of these dudes are just athletic. Like that dude could throw the football. I think uh, Ray Guy in high school was a was an all state quarterback or something like that, bro. Um, that dude, that dude was the first kicker to ever have the football hit the top of the Houston Astrodome. The Houston Astrodome that used to be. It used to be the Dome Stadium back in the days, the first place they had Astral Turf at. Ray Guy was the first kicker to ever hit the roof, to ever kick the football and hit the top of the damn Astral Dome. Nobody had ever done that, bro. Nobody. Just him. Okay. Polon said Casper was the greatest. Yeah, without question. He's in the top. He's in the Hall of Fame. Goes to the post, bro. Goes to the post. You don't know what that play is, man. You better you better start trying to earn your your Raider history stripes, bro. Okay, come on, Juan Soto, man. Get put some over the wall or something, dog. It's six in it. Okay, Let's see something real quick. Hurry up and see what's good. I knew that wasn't a strike. DRH, man, he beat him, mate. But there's no not, not prostate prime. If I'm Mike the two prime, there's no way Linus won that. Well, you know, man. Like I said before, coulda, woulda, shoulda. I'm definitely pro Tyson. Uh, out of those three, Tyson's my favorite dude, but Tyson did it to himself, man. Tyson got too caught up with, with, with everything he can get caught up in. Uh, but like I said before, they fought him. He, he fought him when he fought him. And when he fought him when he fought him, he dominated. Okay? All right, that's what it is, man. Got booty bang. Where guy hit the top of the Astrodome. How in the fuck is that even possible? Look it up. Look it up, dude. Ray Guy's hang time. Why you think he's in the Hall of Fame, dog? You think he's in the Hall of Fame just because? There's only one punter. Out of all the punters that ever made it in the Hall of Fame outside of Sammy Ball, who was a quarterback, Ray Guy's in there as a full punter. Why you think? Because everybody knew that he's the all-time greatest punter of all time, bro. His hang time was ridiculous. That his, his kicking, his punting had a lot to do with our success, bro. Because he would pin your ears back. I mean, he the ball would be up so high. You weren't returning the ball, bro. And Ray got always kicked spirals, bro. You know how kickers be kicking the ball and be doing all this stuff? Ray guy, when he kicked it, it was always a spiral, bro, like this. He kicked it, that shit went off his foot like a pass. And it would stay up there. And by the time you had the fair catch, you wouldn't get no returns. Come on, Aaron Judge, man, my favorite player. Come on, Aaron. Come on, Aaron, I need you to do something, dog. I need you to do something, baby. Do something right here. Home run right here. Bow! Sit here yelling at the TV as usual, bro. God. All right, Apocalypse Shaq, top three bo boxing fights of all time that I've seen in my lifetime? Oh, man, that's easy. Thriller in Manila's number one. Thriller Manila's number one, bro, because my father, I was, a, I was a little dude, but boxing in my house with Ali was like the first thing, first sport I ever knew was Ali boxing, bro. I barely remember when Ali and Frazier fought the first time and, and, and Ali lost, when Ali lost, when he got knocked down, when he came back after them taking his title and he, he, he lost to uh, uh, Frazier the first time. The only reason why I remember that is because it was on Wild World of Sports after that. My father, it was a, it was a, a pay-per-view. He had to go, him and his boys went and they had to go pay to go see it at a theater or something. So I seen it after that. I just remember my dad watching it. And I remember Ali had red shorts with a white stripe. Okay? That's all I remember. But Thrill in Manila, I definitely remembered because my dad had a fight party at his house and all his friends and their wives and everybody came over and you know I was I was sneaking out of the room and shit. My dad let me sit 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 on his lap and watch it. Thrill in Manila number one, bro. Damn Aaron Judge. Fuck, man. Let's keep striking out. Thrill in Miller number one. Okay. Number two, uh second Greg's fight that I uh, I think in my opinion that I ever saw. Was Hearns and Hagler? I don't know. Hagler and, and Leonard, Sugar Ray Leonard, and marvelous Mar Marvin Hagler. That was the that that's the second one. Okay, that one right there. I was in high school. Everybody was at. There's only one guy in the neighborhood who had to fight. None, nobody else had it. 
that one guy we had everybody in that neighborhood was in in, in, in this guy's house this guy's house rest in peace uh who, who's from the hood man who passed away a few years back uh but his father his father rented the fight i think he was on hbo and uh i saw that man that haggler stop son that haggler haggler sugar ray leonard fight was a monster was was the shit okay so that fight and then what other fight can i say man I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to throw a Tyson fight in there somewhere. Who would I say, man? Uh, uh, I don't want to say a fight when he lost, man, but I may have to. Okay. Um. Pop, pop, pop probably that uh, 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 Tyson and uh, Tyson and uh, uh, um. And Holyfield fight. So those will probably be the three three ones that I think that I would probably say is the three greatest fights that I've seen with my eyes. Okay. Um, but my own eyes. I definitely saw Thrill in Manila. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Back up. Let me let me start over. I forgot a fight. I forgot a fight. Let me start over. I forgot something that I definitely saw. Number one, Thrill in Manila. Okay. Ali Frazier two. Okay, double play. You slow, fat ass, greasy ass. Second fight. Ali Foreman. Muhammad Ali, George Foreman. I saw that. I saw that too. I was sitting with my dad watching it. He's, he's, him and his boys. Matter of fact, I, we went to his boys' house. His boys, one of his boys' house, and they were barbecue and all of that shit. And I was watching it. Okay. While the other kids was running around playing and doing all, I was watching. I was sitting right next to my dad watching it. Okay, I was a little dude. So, Ali, Ali Frazier, Ali, Ali Foreman. I saw Ali Norton, but Norton broke his jaw and he didn't do that well. Okay, and then I also saw uh, Frazier Ali three, and I'm not gonna rank that one because Frazier was was done at that time. Cause, cause uh, George Foreman beat his ass. So, and then I'll go Hagler, Leonard. Those are the three. Those three right there, bro. Okay. Uh, so I'm glad. I'm glad I thought of that one, man. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, what's the topic I just got here? You were just uh, CJ. We were just talking about Rasheed Rice from the uh, from the Chiefs. Man is getting sued for 11 million. Uh, for that for that racing car accident, I guess I guess the uh, Chiefs I guess the Chiefs didn't uh, show them the Henry didn't show these rookies the Henry Ruggs tape because I guess these guys are trying to be, trying to be Henry Ruggs 2.0 and uh, now they gonna now they have to break bread probably gonna have to go to jail for reckless driving. Reese Ross, I remember when they hiked the ball up the red guy and he leaped up and grabbed it and still had time to punt it. When 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 they did that, Maurice he grabbed it with one hand. The ball was high. Ray, I keep trying to tell everybody that Ray Guy was an athlete, bro. He was an athlete. That dude played basketball. When he played basketball, he was dunking on dudes. Ray Guy had a vertical. Ray Guy was dunking on people when he when he playing in uh, uh, playing in high school and, and and he stopped playing. I think he played in college like one year. He was a good basketball player. He was also great in baseball. I think he got drafted. To play shortstop, I think he was a shortstop in baseball. He was an all-state quarterback and punter. Ray Guy was him, dog. When they hiked that ball up, Ray Guy went up there and grabbed it with one hand. He basically palmed it. He basically went up and palmed it, brought it down, and kicked it. Ray Guy, Ray Guy's in the Hall of Fame for a reason. Rest in peace. Okay. All right. Booty bang. Shaq, you meet Ali? Yes, I did. When I was nine years old, I absolutely did meet Muhammad Ali, man. Absolutely, man. The most famous person I ever met in my life is Muhammad Ali. Period. Okay. Uh, R D R uh, D D R H. When Lennox fight Oliver McCall, he lost in a rematch. Don King told McCall he wasn't gonna lose before the fight happened, being paid hence and reason why the down in the ring. Well, you know anything involving? Hey, count. Hey, count to ten. Count. Count. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, there you go. Good job. All right, good job. Okay. Um, um, anybody that's messing with Don King, you know how that goes. Okay, Don King, Don King, anything with Don King is going to definitely be a problem. 
All right. Okay. Anything with Don King is a problem. I salute to Don King for getting his money, but Don King, bro, is what it is. Okay. Maurice Ross, I love the Foreman, uh, Ali Foreman fight when he first saw my dad, like two Titans fighting in Africa. Yeah, dog. I saw it with my dad too, man. Damn, this fat ass dude's getting hits. Man, I don't know if we're going to win this one, man. You let these fat ass, greasy ass dudes. God. Yeah, man, I remember that. Ali Boumaye, man. Ali Boumaye. Okay, and it, it was good about it. Now, Maurice, when the I went when Will Smith did the Ali movie, bro. When Will Smith did the Ali movie, I was super critical. I was super critical, and I heard they casted him. I'm like, man, this motherfucker can't be Ali, bro. Ali didn't have those big ass ears sticking out. Okay, I said I, I, Ali wasn't skinny and shit. I didn't. I just was like, man, this isn't gonna work, bro. But I when I went to the movie theater. I, I took a little shooby dooby. We went to go see it. And when I saw that opening scene and I saw Will Will swole up because he he did they did a great job not letting nobody see him, bro. They didn't let no I'm used to seeing the skinny ass fresh prince. When they at opening scene when he was fighting when he was fighting Ernie Terrell in the opening opening scene. And then what's my name? Because Ernie Terrell said, Your mama named you Clay, I'ma call you Clay. And he said, you're going to say my name right in that ring in front of the world. Hey, man, no, I ain't. Your mama called you Clay. I'm going to call your ass Clay, too. And he was beat. He was beat Ernie Terrell's ass. Okay. And he was saying, what's my name? Ba, 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 ba. What's my name, motherfucker? Ba, 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 ba. And I was watching. I was like, dang, man. Will Smith did a good ass job. But what was good about it. Was that now that I'm a, I was a grown man when they showed the fight and they showed everything that was going on before the fight in Zaire and all of that. I was like, I understood it more. I had a more of appreciation that I had seen the original fight because a lot of people that was in there, they only was there because of Will Smith. They didn't know nothing about no Ali. They never saw sat down and saw see the fights. They never saw uh, Ali Frazier. They never saw Ali Foreman. They didn't. They just went it because it was Will Smith, bro. But he did. He did it justice, man. He did it justice, dog. Booty Bang said, "My mother told me that Ali got arrested for not fighting in Vietnam War. Yeah, he almost went to prison for twenty years. That's not the only thing that happened." They took it. They took his titles, his belts away from him for four years. They wouldn't give him a license to fight. Ali was in the prime of his life, bro. They took they took his his titles when he was 20, when he was 25 uh, years old. OK, took his titles, said you are not sanctioned. You can't fight anywhere. OK, couldn't fight nowhere. Took his world championship belts that he earned from Sonny Liston, took those, arrested him. Called him a draft dodger, put him on trial for his life. He lost. They appealed in the appellate court. He lost again. This is 67 after the Ter Terrell fight, gone. Didn't fight no more till 71. From 1967 to 1971, Muhammad Ali did not fight nobody. He was unsanctioned to fight anybody. He couldn't leave the country to fight nobody. They took his passport. He didn't have no money, none of that, okay? His oldest daughter, uh, May May Ali, is a great friend of mine. We've been friends 20 years. I done talked to her about all of that. When, when, when they showed, they showed, that was the only child they showed in the Ali movie when she was a baby, okay? I talked to her about that. I said, how you feel about that? She was like, I didn't even know I was going to be in that. But I know all about that shit, okay? Imagine you're in your prime. You are the world champion. You're Patrick Mahomes. Let me put it like that. You're Patrick Mahomes, dude. You're the back-to-back -back Super Bowl champion. You're 25 years old. You're in the prime of your career. All of a sudden, they tell you you have to uh, go, go to Vietnam to, to, to fight some people that never did nothing to you. And in the country that you live in, you're a second-class citizen. And he says, I ain't doing it. And Roger Goodell and them say, you can't play football no more, bro. They kick you out the league when you're the champion. And then, the, the, and then you get prosecuted. And you lose. And then they try to put you in jail. And then you keep appealing it. Wow. 26 hits. 27 hits. 28 hits. 
29 hits. You've lost four fucking years. Okay? Guess what? Got to the Supreme Court. Supreme Court said it was unconstitutional to make this man go for his religious beliefs, and he barely won. I think he won by one vote. If he didn't, he would have went to jail for 20 years. Then they went, when, he, when he did that, now it's okay. You can come back. Four years of your career gone, bro. Four years of no money. You only know how to box. That's all you do. You don't got no endorsements. Nobody's touching you with a stick. Nothing. Okay? That's what happened, bro. That's what happened. All right. Hagler was a beast, man. Salute the marvel marvelous Marvin Hagler, man. Rest in peace, man. Booty, booty, booty bang. Favorite MMA fight? Shit, any of the John Bones Jones fights is, you know, probably when he fought Cormier and shit, beat his ass. Okay? You know, he's the GOAT. All right? He's the GOAT. Um, uh, JoJo said, uh, best fight I've seen in my pop is whipping yours. Like, come on, dog. You crazy as hell, man. My, 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 my dad was in Vietnam. My dad, my dad would have, my dad would have beat your dad to the white meat show, bro. You know, you know, you don't even know your dad, Jojo. How the fuck you gonna talk about what your dad did when you've never seen your dad in your life? <laughs> it's the, it's the, it's the dadless people that get me, dog. Okay. You have no, you have no father, bro. Okay. As soon as your mama told your raggedy ass daddy that you was coming, he said, uh, let me go get a pack of cigarettes. He hasn't been back since. Okay. Understand that. Okay. See you later, man. Go find your pops, man. Get your ass out of here. Okay. Carl Sanchez. Tyson said when he beat up Larry Holmes, uh, that, 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 that right there wasn't a great fight, man. That wasn't a great fight. That fight was not good. Okay. Because Mike Tyson just obliterated that dude, man. It was it was a revenge fight because Larry Holmes was talking greasy about Muhammad Ali because we beat up Muhammad Ali when Muhammad Ali was old. Muhammad Ali is already starting to have Parkinson's. Um, and uh, Ali told, told Tyson in the ring, get him for him. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to make sure I get this guy really good. That was a lopsided fight. Larry Holmes was a was a good fighter. Uh, a great fighter. He had had the title for a lot of years, but he really he really didn't need, need to do Muhammad Ali like that, bro. He was a, one of Muhammad Ali's former trainer, uh, former uh, sparring partners. He didn't really need to do that. He was really trying to hurt Muhammad Ali, bro. And I think he had a lot to do with what happened in the end. But Tyson pulverized it. Po Tyson pulverized him, dog. It, that was just a, I wanted to see him get his ass kicked. And he did. That wasn't a great fight, bro. But it it is what it is. Got his ass whooped. Okay. Derek Galloway. Peace, bro. Kellen Winslow, best tight end. Kellen Winslow, I give Kellen Winslow a good tight, uh, a great tight end because he played uh, uh, in the um, he played in the AFC West, man. But there was better tight ends than him. Kellen's, Kellen Winslow was not better than uh, was not better than uh, Tony Gonzalez. He wasn't better than Gronkowski. It was a bunch of guys that he wasn't. He he probably wasn't. I think he's probably better than uh, 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 Shannon Sharp. He might be, uh, man, maybe for certain years he might have been better than Ozzie Newsom. Uh, you know, but, you know, everybody has their opinions, bro. Okay, Booty Banks said karma coming for the Chiefs. Yeah, man, they always seem to have some driving issues. People talk about our situation, but they don't want to talk about their situation. Okay. Maurice Ross says, yes, sir, Ali wasn't playing. Respect my name. Will did a good job. He did do a good job. I was very surprised, bro. I was shocked. Absolutely shocked, man. I went in there, dog. I remember. I went in there, man. I, you know, they did a great job of making sure because this was before social media, obviously. They did a great job of only having his face. I'm like, man, this cat don't even look like Ali, man. Like, this ain't gonna work, man. Because you know, I'm used to seeing skinny ass Will Smith on the Fresh Prince. Uh, I didn't know that he had trained a year to bulk up and get himself in boxing and all that. They kept, they did a great job of keeping it under wraps. I was just like, man, it's gonna be straight trash. But Will Smith was the number one box office draw, you know, at that time. He was hitting 100 million after every movie he did after, um, after, uh, 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 oh, shit. Good catch, bro. I can't hate. Good catch, man. Fuck, man. We can't get nothing done. Um, after Independence Day, everything that he hit was 100 million. And I'm like, okay, we're going to go check it out, man. I'm already thinking it's going to be a dump truck movie. And that opening scene, dog. 
when I seen him and he was, I was like, who is that a stunt double? I thought it was a body double, Maurice. I said, man, I gotta be a body double. Nah, man. Nah, Will Will was Will was was looking like Ali, man. He was looking like him physically and everything, bro. I was wow. I was blown away, bro. Blown away. Okay. And Jamie Foxx did an excellent, excellent version of um of uh, uh Bundini Brown, bro. Excellent Bundini Brown, bro. Excellent. Okay. Uh Booty Bang, Chadwick Boseman did an amazing job of, of, of playing Robinson. Chad, Chad was everybody. Man, salute to Chadwick Boseman, man. The, the original Black Panther. You know what I'm saying? Chadwick played everybody, every prominent black historic figure that had a movie during that time period he played them all bro okay he played jackie robinson he played james brown he played thurgood marshall okay the first black uh uh justice chief justice of the of of, uh, of the uh um supreme court he played all them dudes these are all iconic african-american icons man this dude played at least three or four of them dog Great job, man. And then he played back Black Panther, the original black superhero, and, and, and killed that. Gone too soon, man. He had a lot more work to do. Gone too soon, bro. Gone too soon. Okay. Uh, Maurice Ross. Howard Cosell was pissed when they stripped his title and couldn't return in 2071. Man, one thing, man, that, that, that I never knew. Because every time I saw Muhammad Ali and the Howard Cosell, they were going at it, dog. I didn't know. That they were that they that close of friends, bro. I did. I had no idea that they were that close of friends, bro. I had no idea that that uh, uh, Ali and For uh, and Frazier were friends. I mean, we we didn't have what we have now. We we have we have media is instantaneous for us. You know, the a person who who's a person you never heard of can get his story out, can get his you know his side of the story out, no problem, bro. Okay. Um, so yeah, so so yeah, man. Howard Cosell was definitely mad. Howard Cosell had a lot to do with him being reinstated. Howard Cosell was the number one sports uh um sports commentator in the world. Nobody was bigger than Howard Cosell. Howard Cosell was very instrumental on a lot of things that 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 got Ali back to where he needed to go to. He was also instrumental in helping Ali out during the lean years. You know, because Ali had wife, had, you know, had, had, had my girl May, uh, and he didn't have no income. He's in Chicago, had no income. Well, you know, nobody was helping him do anything. So Cosell helped him out with some money when he needed it. I mean, Ali was getting help, dog. Ali was getting help, bro. Okay, even George For hey, George Frazier gave, uh, uh, Joe Frazier gave him money, dog, like to try to keep him going. A lot of people helped, dog. A lot of people helped. Okay, Booty Bang says JoJo talking shit. Not anymore. He was talking shit. But guess what? That's what happens, man. When, when, you, when you don't have a father figure in your life, you look, at, you look at people on the internet to be your daddy. Okay, I had to send him to his room. He, wanted, he, needed, a, he needed a daddy, so I, I became his daddy for about 15 seconds. Sent him to his room, duck, blocked his ass and sent him to his room with no dinner. That's how it goes. Okay. All right, D. Bernie was going on. Larry Holmes was already old, but he did kill him off real quick. Man, wouldn't have mattered, dog. Larry Holmes had never been hit like that in his life. Wouldn't matter. Larry Holmes in his prime, man. What they call him? The Mo or what did they? What was his nickname? The Eastern, the East, Eastern something. What was Larry Holmes? I know, I know that uh, Tommy Hearns, uh, uh, Tommy Hearns' name was the Motor City Cobra. His name was the Eastern something. Can't think of it, man. Look it up, D. Bernie. I think I can't think of the, the, the last part of that. Man, he'd never been hit like that. Because Larry Holmes had the best jab probably in boxing history. That jab kept everybody off of him, dog. He ne he'd never been rocked like that in his life. Never. He's never fought nobody that ferocious. At least Ali fought uh, the, the, uh, his version of uh, Mike Tyson, you know, uh, you know when, when he fought Sonny Liston. Two times. Because Sonny Liston was Mike Tyson in the 60s. So if Ali was in his prime, Holmes would have got his ass kicked with Ali. Okay. Ali knocked out the Mike Tyson of the day. He ain't never been hit like that in his life. When Tyson started putting that wood on his ass and start took, took his ass out to the woodshed and started putting it on him, 
He was wobbling around, man. That dude was that dude was break dancing when he wasn't trying to. Okay, D. Bernie, I think an Aaron Pryor and Sugar Ray Leonard fight would have happened. Who would you have picked? I would have picked Sugar Ray, even though Aaron Pryor was a Aaron Pryor was dope. Aaron Pryor was dope, dog. But I just think Sugar Ray would have found the way, bro. You know, Aaron Pryor was a monster, absolute monster, man. I mean, shit, Aaron Pryor. Alexis Arguello at that time. See, we're talking boxing. If you can't come over here and flip it like we flip it over here, okay, we flipping it. We're talking about something totally different, okay? Uh, and I love boxing. Alexis Arguello, you had, uh, um, um, what's the other dude's name? Aaron Pryor. Um, what was that boy's name, man? Uh, Wilfredo Benitez. There was a whole bunch of them, D. Bernie. The whole bunch of them. Okay, you know we talking we talking boxing like football over here. I mean, come on, dog, we off the chain. D. Bernie, L. A. Sparks boxed their first two rounds, but yeah, man, they fucked up, dog. They didn't want to get Angel Reese because they didn't want her. They don't want her to be in L. A. Man, that's stupid, man. You should have picked up Angel Reese. You know, I understand that Cameron Brin is is good, but man, you got to think about box office, man. You got to think about who who's gonna put asses in seats. Okay, that was stupid, dog. I was ready for man for that to happen. Okay. Uh Carl Santa Ben Winter Coates is a good tight end. There's a bunch of good tight ends, bro. Bunch of good tight ends. All right. But let's not and we're talking about the greatest of all time. We're not gonna put Ben Coates there, dog. You go, you're gonna put Gronk, you're gonna put, you know, Kellen Winslow, you're gonna put Dave Casper, you're gonna put Tony Gonzalez, you're gonna put Ozzie Newsom, you know, you know, you're gonna you're gonna put them guys. Oh my god! Dude, you keep throwing the ball in the dirt. Why do you pull this guy, man? Oh, my God. That's horrible, bro. Oh, okay. I'm really shocked they didn't grab Angel Reese from the center from South Dakota. Championship pieces. Yeah, they're stupid. They're dumb, dog. They're going to regret it later. Okay. Booty bang. Yo, Shaq, how come our fan base gave car shit, but they gave Jamie G pass? I've answered that question before, dog. It's like... True hate comes from love. The, the strongest hate comes from love, bro. If you want somebody to really hate you, get somebody to convert from loving you to hating you really quick. And you'll find out. They loved Carr at one time. They believed in Carr. They believed in him. They thought that he was going to do something when he was playing good and he never gave them what they wanted. So they hated him. It's like anything else, bro. It's like, like I always say, man, you start a relationship, how, how you, it, it ends a relationship, how you start a relationship. Okay. A lot of my boys learn that the hard way. She, she, she got a husband, you digging her out, you wind up getting with her, she divorces her husband, gets with you. Next thing you know, somebody else is digging your wife out. Like, how you, how you get them is how you lose them. So what it is. So, you know, they got to the point where they hated them because they loved them. They loved them and they were disappointed. So when somebody came in that looked better, like I said before, the girl that got her got her boobs pushed together. You think it's a better pick because you only know the surface shit. You're looking at the outside. You ain't looking at what's on the inside. OK, you move her in. You find out she's nasty than a motherfucker. She don't even clean up after herself. The dishes is all piled to the ceiling and shit. She don't do nothing. She lazy. She this, that and the other. Hey, man, that's your girl, though. The other one, you appreciate the other one when she gone. So that's why. Okay, then you got ran, you got your pockets ran through, and she left with uh, eighty-five million dollars, Jimmy Garoppolo, and now you're sitting here looking like a fool, brother. Drive. You ever see the documentary by Ali talking to a man of ledge, powerful? Uh, yeah, I seen it. Yep. With the bank said, uh, I said John Madden uh, when I was a kid, man, he was gigantic. Man, you you, you beat me on that. I never got a chance to meet uh, Coach Madden. Never got a chance to meet Coach Madden, Coach Madden bro. That would have been beautiful. Yeah, the Eastern Assassin. See, I was close. See, D. Bernie. D. Bernie, I know what I'm talking about. I knew it was Easton something. I just couldn't remember, dog. The Easton assassin. I couldn't remember his last part, but I got the first part right. Gotti Ward was up there. Yeah, Gotti Ward was a good-ass fight. D. Bernie Yankees off to a crazy start, bro. Yeah, man, but shit, it ain't helping us today. This fucking pitching is absolutely atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. And their pitching is doing very well. Okay? Nothing I could do, man, sitting there watching this bullshit. Pissing me off. Uh... D D uh, Duran and Sugar Ray uh, 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 fights were good too, but you guys only said the top three fights. You guys only gave me three. Two of those got to go to Ali, bro. Like I'm from that era. 
There ain't no way I can't put Thriller in Manila and not put uh, Foreman, uh, uh, Foreman and, and Ali in Zaire. I, them fights are, them fights are like top tier, like the top of the best fights ever. Like it's too high up. All these other fights are great fights, but there's 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 goat fights. Those are goat fights, bro. Those Ali fights are goat fights. Ali Frazier won a little bit before my time, but that Thriller in Manila, dog. That that's the greatest fight ever. Okay, Salvador Sanchez and House brother to Ram Wilfredo Benitez, Edwin Rosario. There's a bunch of them. Okay, Salvador Sanchez was a bad boy. Hearns and Hagler, yeah, man, that was a good-ass fight, too. But you guys only said three. Let's not act like I didn't see them all. I saw all those fights. I saw all those fights, man. I was disappointed. I was disappointed, dog. I thought, I thought, uh, uh, I really thought Hearns was going to win. I thought the Motor City Cobra was going to win, bro. I'm like, man, Motor City Cobra... Is longer, taller. Nah, man. Hagler said that ain't happening. You getting your ass whooped? Okay, you getting your ass, and he and he got knocked the fuck out, dog. Like it was bad. Okay, Derek Gallagher, my phone battery died. You give me your thoughts on Kellen Winslow as my vote for tight end? Uh, I he ain't the goat. He's on. He's he's a top ten. He's a top ten uh, tight end. Kellen Winslow was always getting a thousand yards in the, in the seventies. It wasn't easy for a tight end to get multiple thousand yard seasons. But that was the Air Coriel days with uh, uh, you know with uh, um, Don Coriel and uh, Dan Fouts and John Jefferson and dude. I used to I used to be trying to learn from them, dog. When I that was when I was playing Pop Warner football, you know. They were, they were, they were, they were uh, explosive, man. Okay, they had Ch Charlie Joyner a little bit back past his prime a little bit, but they had a serious offense. Chuck Muncie running the football. They caused us problems, dog. They caused us problems. They sure did. Okay, uh, and Reggie Roby. Reggie Roby was dope. Reggie Roby was like the first black punter I ever seen in the NFL. I think he might have been the first black punter. Reggie Roby's a big ass. Big ass burly ass dude, man. Take that one big step and kick the shit out of the ball. That's straight up in the air, bro. Okay. Reggie Rob Reggie Roby was something else, man, for Miami Dolphins. Yep. Booty bang. Like my mom used to say, a beautiful face doesn't make a beautiful heart. Hey man, your mom's your mama is very smart, bro. Very brilliant. Apocalypse, Diego Corrales and Lewis. Yeah, that was a good ass fight, too. That was a good ass fight, too, bro. Good ass fight. 15 rounds, man. I remember. I remember when they switched from 15 rounds to 12 rounds. That was the uh, was that the, was that the, uh, Hagler Sugar Ray Hagler when they switched it to 12. I like the 15 rounds, bro. That, that that's when he was really gonna get it out the mud, bro. You know, it hasn't been 15 rounds since then. That that I think the Hagler Hearns fight. I mean Hagler Hearns, uh, a Sugar Ray Her uh, Hagler fight changed that. Changed the glove size too. The ounces of the gloves were changed. And after that fight, they just kept it at 12, bro. It should be 15, bro. But back in the olden days, back in the Jans, Jack, uh, Jack, Jack Dempsey days and the, the Jack Johnson days, and back then, them fights would be 28 rounds, 30 rounds. So some, so somebody, somebody was somebody wasn't getting up. Like they would go, they would go for real. Yeah, Hagler was a bad boy, bro. Yeah, Hagler was a bad boy, man. Fouts, yeah, Bruce Kelly, Dan Fouts. Hated Dan Fouts, man. Dan Fouts, man. Dan Fouts was Dan Marino before Dan Marino. Dan Fouts was he was he was he was Mr. St he was Mr. Stat Machine, bro. I mean, four thousand yard seasons when nobody even heard of four thousand yard seasons, bro. Okay. Uh, you guys saw saw so bro. Matias is a monster, bro. Look him up, man. His last few fighters quit. He also killed a guy. Caught out Devin Haney. Yeah, Devin Haney, Devin Haney, Devin Haney's pops, man. I, I don't know if Devin Haney's pops can scrap, but he sound like he can. Dev, Devin Haney's pops sound like a sound like he could like he could throw them. But Devin Haney's pops be talking crazy to these dudes. 
God, I'm telling Mike McCollum was the most avoided like, middleweight and heavyweight of the boxers. Shit, man, y'all remember Prince Nassim? Remember Prince Nassim? Prince Nassim go out there dancing and shit? Prince Nassim was, he was box office, man. Gag. Hector Macho Camacho. Them, du them dudes were, were showmen, bro. They were showmen, dog. Okay. Rodney Williams, Black Punter, kicked with the Giants. Oh, I guess that's the first one? Okay. Mike McCallum, James Tony was a great fight. Yeah, J J yeah, James Lights Out Tony. Matter of fact, didn't James Tony play? I think he played uh, f uh, f uh, Frazier in the Ali movie, if I ain't mistaken. Was it James Tony? I think James Tony played Frazier in the uh, Ali movie, bro, if I ain't mistaken. Okay. Yeah, man, we need to talk this boxing, man. I didn't know you guys knew boxing like that. See, boxing is a sport. You got to really know what you're talking about to talk some boxing, man. Like, like you guys are in here. Y'all that's in here, we talking. You guys are there. Just imagine if we had like a couple of hundred people like y'all. We in here talking some boxing. That would be ideal. But, you know, hey, you know, we have to we have to build up to that guy. Egatarian. Uh, D. Bernie, we need to bring back boxing matches up behind Caesar's Palace. All those fights are off the chain. Yeah. You know, but now the money is it's too it's too much money now, bro. You know, it's too much money now. Everything has got to be all bells and whistles and this, that, and the other, man. Having them fight outside, they would never go for it, bro. They'd never go for it. You might have to have some smaller fights in there, but when you're talking about those big those big fighters, you got to have uh, arena and shit. Man, you just keep hitting in the fucking... Damn, dog, hit him right to the, right to the damn shortstop. God, yeah, you fought till you died, bro. Facts, Bruce Kelly. Booty Bang Shaq Madden was a great commentator. Yes, he was, man. He was a GOAT. I can tell you, Marvin Hague admitted to avoid Mike McCallum. Yeah, but, I mean, you ain't got to be stupid, man. Sometimes sometimes it's survival of the fittest. Sometimes you got to survive, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got to survive sometimes. Uh, yeah, Prince Nassim Hamed, man. Yeah. <laughs> that boy was... <laughs> I'd be watching him crying laughing, dog crying there's this other fighter that's been out here that does that type same type shit uh, i forgot his name man but he be doing that same type of shit that there but the seems come out with the costumes and shit okay and then hexter macho camacho rest in peace he came up with that little superman curl and shit this nigga had a superman curl in the center of his head that motherfucker would come out with all kinds of shit on that motherfucker come out with a damn iron man outfit man just just the histrionics bro and then going in and beat your ass it's funny as fuck bro Funny as hell. Uh, D. Bernie. Got another dude out there boxing like drunk about. Yeah, that's the guy. I can't think of that dude, man. D. Bernie. I saw him too. Uh, look the points away because he was showboating too hard. Still stopped in a later fight. Dog. Why are you getting penalized for showboating, man? If I'm if you can't stop me and I'm out here cabbage patching shit, I'm out here doing the WAP and I'm beating your ass. Like, what the fuck? Like, what's the problem? Okay, I could be out there doing the running, man, as long as I'm hitting you in the mouth. Who gives a fuck? Like. Come on, dog. Yeah, the prince until Marco Antonio put him in another dimension. Yes. Yeah, some some guys aren't aren't for the play play, bro. So some of them cats ain't for the play play, Al. Some of these dudes is fighting for real. Like, oh, oh okay. Yeah, I, or, yeah, okay. I think, I think I'm gonna go ahead and knock you the fuck out. Okay. Hey, Terrence, I love boxing. Yeah, Prince Nassim. Yeah, Prince Nassim was funny as fuck, bro. Yeah, hey, Terrence, y'all a lot of y'all on here know y'all boxing, man. I'm very shocked, very surprised. Say, but the only thing is we just don't have enough people to continue it, continue it on, man. Man, salute to this man right here, dog. Salute, salute Jackie Robinson, man. Yeah, man. Salute Jackie Robinson, dog. Okay. Uh, but you better know a little bit of boxing. I know more about MMA. I'm the opposite. Lamoed Ali was the best. Yeah, he was the greatest, man. Okay. Uh, Spud Squab, you're a great YouTuber. I hope you make it far. Hey, man, me too. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to keep it real and get me where it got me this far. And we see how far it gets me in the end. Okay, but you guys are support, right? Without you guys, nothing happens. Bruce K. I mean, it was a street fight. Boxing is a sport. Yeah, boxing is a sweet science, man. But boxing has been getting, um, boxing is now a punchline now. Because a lot of the MMA fans, they expect somebody to be bleeding and, and, and on the ground, fucked up like that. And that's not what boxing is. Boxing is, is more of a technique. Oh, yeah, pop that shit up. Top of the eighth, man. Fuck, man. We got to do something, dog. Okay. I think we might lose this one, man. This pitching is, this pitch is horrible, bro. Um, 
Yeah, boxing needs to be a tournament based on one sanctioned body. Yeah, it won't never happen. This money is just the money is just too much, bro. The money is just too much for them to do that. They'll never allow it. Uh, yeah, yeah, booty bang, love that you're ducking. You're right. Why I'm wet, man. Pace is four two bucks. I wouldn't doubt it. Bucks ain't doing shit. Ben Whitaker, man, what's going on? Yeah, what's going on, Justin Saw? What's happening? Another pop up. Okay, foul ball. Julian Jackson. Yeah, Julian Jackson was knocking motherfuckers out too. He was one of them phenom dudes that just was beating everybody's ass and then all of a sudden just wasn't that way no more. Mike McCallum started. Yeah, Julian Jackson. Yeah, Mike McCallum was Mike McCallum had them hands. Yeah, Prince Basima right under the magic carpet. He had me rolling, bro. Yeah, they had me rolling, dog, crying, dog. But Prince Basima used to have me in stitches, dog. He used to have me crying, laughing, dog. That dude was shimmy shimmy cocoa popping in the ring, fucking motherfuckers up. I was just in the crying, dog. I was, like, ah! I was just in the crying, dog, screaming. My mom was like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, look at this guy right here. My mom, I don't watch that. It's not Ali. Cause my mom only want to watch Ali and shit. She won't watch nobody else. God. Um, Gary Galloway said, Shaq, you said it right. These boxes are showmen. Ribside hurt the fuck. Yeah, man, hilarious, bro. Hector Bacho Kobacho be talking shit. Lead it over the day. I mean, they were like wrestlers, bro. They were like, it was like watching WWE, but these guys were boxers, bro. Funny as hell. All right. Terry and Pierce, according to terms, Pete Science come from bare knuckle boxing. Wow, dog. I didn't know the history of it. I just know it was always called the sweet science because anybody that was a real uh, pugil pugilist, you know what I'm saying, they would know that, that that phrase, you know, that phrase superseded everything. Bruce Cousins, did you mention Kenny Norton? I did. I did. And I also said I didn't like that fight because Ali got his jaw broke. I was a kid. Ali was the Ali was 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 him, dog. All right? That was my first sports hero was Ali. So when I when he lost that fight and I found out that his that he got his jaw broke, you know, when you're a kid, you hear that kind of stuff, you really think it's super duper serious. I'm asking my dad, is he gonna be able to eat again, Dad? You know? They're like, Yeah, he's gonna be all right in a few months. I'm just like, he broke his jaw. I was upset. <laughs> I was upset, dog. D. Burns says Mayweather versus Corrales. That was a good fight. Um, Mount Rushmore boxing. Ali, Hagler, Sugar Ray, Tyson. That ain't bad. Okay. Uh, Gavin Bosco asked me a question that I definitely cannot answer on YouTube. They will get. My, I definitely can't have that kind of content on it. They're gonna definitely mess me up. Okay, but there is there, there is an answer to that question, but I can't answer it on here. Okay. Booty bang, how did the chicken nuggets lose to the Spurs? Hey man, because they got overconfident. Got overconfident, man. That 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 uh, that young that young kid started getting pissed off, dog. He wasn't getting calls. He decided to go ape shit on the ass. Bruce Kelly said, uh, Ali Norton broke Ali's jaw early in the fight. Sure did. Broke his jaw, bro. Had to wire his mouth shut, dog. Had to wire his mouth shut like Kanye West. Guy. She said, remember Mark Gasson over the Jets with Pro? Yeah, man, Mark Gasson got his ass whooped. No, ain't no home run. Stop jumping up and down. Okay, we got to do something, man. We gonna look like we gonna lose this shit. I ain't happy with you, Juan Soto. Come on, Juan, man, you can do something, man. Aaron, you and Aaron Judge, y'all gotta do something, man. Okay, yeah, that shit was crazy. He burning Ernie Shavers. Hear that, bro? We talking from boxing at fifty six. Yeah, Ernie Shavers. Ali said Ernie Shavers was one of the guys that probably hit him the hardest, even harder than Foreman. He said Ernie Shavers hit fucking hard, dog. Uh, um, yeah, crazy as hell, dog. 06 Gucci. Hey, man, stick around, man. Become a member. If I need you, I'll let you know. But not at this point, man. But young talent is always appreciated. Okay. Uh, Devin Gasco, man. Riddick Bo. Man, Riddick Bo to me was... Riddick Bo was overrated. I didn't like Riddick Bo. Uh, even though he was doing good, I didn't like him. I was like, Riddick Bo. I was like, I don't like that. I don't like that nigga. I don't know why. I just didn't like him, dog. Just didn't like him, dog. Okay. Uh, Bruce Kelly, Ernest Shaver said he was the hardest puncher. Yep. Uh, I heard that Shavers hit harder than Big George. Big George had had Angelo Dundee thinking that Ali was going to die in the ring. But Ali was like, why am I scared of him when I fought Sonny Liston? Like, Ali was just a different type of dude, dog. Okay. My favorite Jeter moment, oh, that, that when, when, when he threw him out, man, with that side, when he threw that side down and got that guy whole plate, man, Jeter. When Jeter made that play and he threw it 
threw it, caught it, and threw it without looking the no look, the no look out at home plate. Jeter, dog. Okay, Jeter. Okay, Bruce Kelly. You know what I'm saying? Deep burning. Tom Zippos and Simpson with safety, good blood boxer, played for the Ravens. Believe he was six or seven and zero, lightweight first career. Yeah, dog. Like a lot of these people got different skill sets, man. A lot of these guys, you know, they played. Uh, they, you know, they they fought Golden Gloves and you know, fought in those leagues, man. The, uh, the, uh, we had something in the Bay Area called Pal, Pal Boxing, which was the uh, the Police Athletic League, and a lot of the guys that. I knew growing up that wound up fighting in the Golden Gloves started in PAL, um, you know, Police Athletic League, and uh, back in the Bay Area, man, and that's where they made their bones, and you know, in there, you know, so it was he true? Muhammad Ali allows it to be said, yeah, man, that that was crazy. And then when Ali fought, uh, when he fought uh, uh, that boxer, man, and that uh, I mean, fought the fought the wrestler, and Ali, he was on his back and he was kicking at Ali the whole time. I remember seeing that on Wild World Sports. My dad called me, Matthew, you need to come and see this. Ali's on. That's all my dad. Ali's on. I, I don't care. I'm running in. And he was on. That, that damn big ass wrestler was kicking at him and shit. I'm like, man, what the fuck is this, man? What the hell? <laughs> shit was crazy, dog. A Rod or Jeter. Come on, dog. Somebody's the captain and somebody was lucky he was a Yankee. Okay. How was Yankee Stadium in the Bronx? A dream come true, dude. The only thing would have made it better if it was old Yankee Stadium. Been a fan my whole life, man, and finally got a chance to go there. It was a dream come true, dog. I was in my wife, my son. I was like, man, I'm in Yankee Stadium, dog. Like a place that I've been seeing my whole life. And now I'm in here. This shit's beautiful, bro. Absolutely beautiful. God. And then... uh. It was a 16, uh, a 13 inning game, man. My first game in there, Yankees won, man. In the 13th inning, it was like two o'clock, almost damn two o'clock in the morning, man. My family was falling asleep, bro. They're like, "Can we please leave?" No, no, fuck. First time in Yankee Stadium, man. It was a 13 inning game, bro. And it was a night game. The game started like 4:30, and that game went on and 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 on. I was like. I could have stayed there all night, man. Family, my, my son was out cold. My wife was falling asleep. It's like, how much longer? So I don't know. I know that I'm in here. Come on, Aaron Judge. Come on, bro. Top of the night. That definitely wasn't a that definitely was a strike. Okay, I gotta pay attention to this, man. We need we need something going, dog. All right. All right let's go. Okay, here we go. Second pitch. Low. Uh, yeah, you boxed there, Bruce? That's dope. But we've been, hopefully my Dodgers don't choke in the playoffs again. Yeah, you guys have had some issues with that choking shit. Y'all done lost a couple of World Series. Y'all was in a World Series three years in a row. Only won one out of three. But shit, at least y'all won one. Fucking pop up. Okay, pop back. Okay. All right. Jimmy Young. Yeah, I remember Jimmy Young, Bruce Kelly. I remember him. Giants finally won a game, AP. Um... D. Bernie, what's my dream middleweight fight? That's easy, man. Floyd, Floyd Mayweather Jr. versus Sugar Ray Leonard. Here we go. Fucking fly ball again. That's my dream, man, right there. Sugar Ray versus Floyd Mayweather Jr. Not Floyd Mayweather Sr. because Ali, Ali uh, made mince meat of his dad. I mean, uh, uh, Sugar Ray made mince meat of his pops. Uh, booty bang. I told my Diamondback homies that we're going to sweep them. Yeah, man, get you some money. Bruce Kelly's from Philly, man. You from uh, you, you, you from you from West Philly? Where are you from? What part of Philly are you from? Okay. Ah, fucking. We lost, man. Raggedy motherfuckers, man. Fucking dumb, dude. We could have easily won this game. Now they they doing ring around the rosy, really, bro. Your ass out of here, dog. Yeah, I'm pissed. You better pretty bird floor for the sugar rays box office. Come on, dog. That right there. That right there. And, and they asked Sugar Ray, man. I, I mean, I saw Sugar. I talked Sugar Ray at Eddie's house, Eddie Murphy's house. Um He even said, man, that you know, 
he would be he would be Floyd. As and as dope as of a defensive fighter Floyd was in his prime, and the way he did that Philly shared Philly shield uh, defense and stuff, Sugar Sugar Ray would have found a way, dog. Sugar Ray would say would have found a way to win that fight. A group, oh okay, I got you, Bruce Kelly. Do you do the Philly shell when you was boxing? Ah, uh, Billy Van, what can the Dodgers not do to lose in the playoffs? Pitch well. I just lost the game because my pitcher decided that he wanted to throw a wild pitch and walk in a run. We had this game one, one nothing, dude. But pitching, though, no. pitching nutted up. Now we're 12 and 5 when we could have been 13 and 4. But, you know, it is what it is, though. Ain't no basketball on the night till tomorrow because of the play in. Maybe I'll go and see what's going on with the WNBA. But all the good players that I wanted to see get drafted, they got drafted. Ain't nothing else to talk about. So, let's see what's going on here. Um, Justin Saw, Shaq, who do you think is going to win WNBA championship this season? <laughs> Shit, I can't call it, man. Love the Lakers to win. Um, but something's telling me something about uh, OKC, man, and SG SGA and them. It's just something about those dudes. Not saying that they're going to win the title. I'm just saying that there's something about them. Okay, 12 and 5, best in the major leagues. Yeah, I know, man. But when I sit here and watch the whole game and I see that we could have easily won the game if somebody just would have been able to have some control over their pitches, uh, it would have been good. would have been good. Okay, I believe Sugar would win. Me too. Uh, D. Bernie pitches have the Dodgers have been to Achilles Hill. Last play, yes, facts. Uh, Wednesday is the Sixers playing against Miami. I think I think I think Philly got it. Philly's Philly's model the squad too, dog. Okay. Okay, see, so it'll be a juggernaut in the future, man. They they monsters, bro. They young, and they just have to they just have to keep the keep the crew together. If they can keep the crew together, okay. Angel Jackson, six six. Yeah, dude, I picked Angel Jackson. Shit. Uh, all right. Uh, Dr. Van, we just lost Strand. We just lost, dog. I had my rally cap on and everything, dog. We just lost, dog. Just lost. God. Armando Peppers, can't wait for Warriors and Kings game tomorrow night. Go Dubs. I'll tell you this shit right now, what you better do. Okay. Yeah, y'all better have y'all shit. Y'all better have y'all shit ready to roll, man. Because them damn, them damn uh, Kings are not afraid of you guys. Them, them young bulls, them young Kings. They don't have no fear, man. Them kids don't have no fear at all, okay? But I think Golden State will find a way to win, man, because I think that, uh, I think that, uh, uh, you're, you're, you know, uh, Kaminga and them cats, man, I think they're going to, the, the bench is going to make sure that, that that happens. Okay. Um, I see OKC win one. Yeah, OKC, OKC is a dangerous team, bro. Dr. Van don't have no respect for him, though, no. okay? But they already show what they can do. All right. So yeah, I was watching, bro. Bats couldn't get going. Only one run. Hey, that had nothing to do with old boy fucking walking in a run and then while pitching a run. Just dumb, dog. We had that game won, bro. Okay. Derek Galloway, man. Checking one of your Yankee fans. Tell us your thoughts on Ron Guidry. Man, did Ron Guidry pass away or something? I hope he didn't. Ron Guidry was the first pitcher that I ever knew. From the Yankees. He's the first pitcher that I ever paid attention to. I used to act like I was Ron Gidge. You know, Ron Gidge had that little hitch and he had that little kick out. I used to get I used to get a tennis ball and throw that up against my my uh pretend I was Ron Gidry pitching. You know, Gar Gidry was left-handed. Uh, but I used to I used to pretend I was Ron Gidry and throw that up against my garage door with a uh with a mitt and um and a and a tennis ball. How he'd have that exaggerated kick out and do that. I would do that. Gidry was the pitcher, if I ain't mistaken, Gidry was the pitcher when, when uh, Reggie Jackson hit the three home runs. Definitely he was one of the best, he was the best pitcher on the Yankees during that series. Ron Gidry, Ron Gidry definitely it got some love from me. That, that might be a good-ass jersey to get, too. Ron Gidry, dog, yeah. yeah Ron Gidry has a lot, a lot of respect for me, dog. Said, man, I'm out there, little kid out there throwing a tennis ball up against the wall trying to pitch like him. Yeah. Um, D. Bernie, Mavs or Clippers? I'm going with the Mavs, bruh. We can't go with the strippers, D. Bernie. Can't go with the strippers, bruh. Better shooter, Bird or Steph? Shooter? Steph. 
Clutch? Bird. I'm going with Bird on Clutch. Not to say that Steph ain't Clutch, but but I seen Bird I seen Bird do shit in in, in, in finals, bruh. Okay. But as far as a shooter, it can't nobody shoot better than Steph. Steph is him. Steph is the GOAT. That have been OKC is nice, but they're young. Still need to put their feet with in the playoffs. Uh, so I agree. I agree, man. Youth, youth, youth can work for you and it can work against you. The bad thing about youth is you have no experience. It's the bad part about youth. You have no experience. The good part about youth is you don't know no better. You can get out there and just play and, and not know you're not supposed to do anything. You just you have no idea. You'd have no idea you're not supposed to be out there doing what you're doing. I've seen it in sports, bro. I seen it when Magic Johnson was a rookie with the with the Lakers, bro, against my Sixers. Magic Johnson played all five positions in that game seven against the and when Kareem was out with a sprained ankle when he was a rookie and he scored 42 points. Magic Johnson, rookie, scored, played center and scored 42 points to win a championship because he didn't know no better. He had just won the year before. He was like, man, it's just basketball. I won in high school, two state titles. I won in basketball when, when Michigan State. I come in my first year and I win a championship and I score 42 points in, in, in the elimination game. Like youth, youth with no with no conscience is dangerous. Uh, Dr. Van, yeah, but he's all he give up really one to inning, one walk, wild pitch. Need a more offense. Yeah, man, but shit, man. You load the bases up, you walk every fucking body, then you walk somebody home. These guys weren't even earning anything. I can understand if he was they were hitting this dude was just putting him on base, 98 mile an hour fastball, fucking uh uh, you know, rim high and shit. It's horrible, bro. Okay. Bang. Talking to Dr. Van. Gator Gidry, yeah, man. Um Rip Rico Way, yes, D Bernie. Rico Wade, bro. Rico Wade is a guy who I was studying his production, bro. I was trying to study his shit, dog. Study how he how he did his beats. Study how he did his production. Um, you know, salute to uh, Rico Wade. Maybe um, there hasn't been any um, organized noise. There hasn't been Dungeon Family, all that shit. Hasn't been any reports on on cause of death, though. You know. So we'll find out. Dr. Van, who would I rather play in round one, OKC or Denver? Who would I rather play or who am, am I Who am I going to play? I would rather play OKC because obviously they're an easier opponent. But we're not losing the ball to avoid to avoid playing y'all. Why would I do that? I would, I, I'm not going to have in my head that I'm trying to avoid you guys. And if I have to play you again, then I have to believe I can beat you. No, I have to play you wherever you at. Better off probably playing them early to be less pressure. Uh, Bruce Kelly, you already know. No fear, played center. Yep, yeah, really. Hope, uh, too evil, too hope. Really, hear my wolves can do something to playoffs. Yeah, man. Like I said, man, it all depends on what Cat does. Carl Anthony Towns is the, is the litmus test. Okay, we're gonna find out. Okay, we're gonna find out. Lakers could give a round of the money and run for a while. I think we beat OKC easily because of the because of the uh, the uh, the young factor. Okay. Yeah, 42, 13, and 9 in the finals. I was watching that, D. Bernie. I was watching that. I was upset. I was upset, dog. I was upset. <laughs> upset, dog. Hey. I thought we had it in the bag, and we didn't. Well, I agree, bro, but he hasn't got to get the game out three runs. Not bad overall. Yeah. Punch your ticket and hit the like button. Yeah, man, push your tickets. Let's go. Let's do what we do. Okay. Yeah, man, I'm sitting here, man, watching the first 48, man, watching these tough guys uh, snitch on themselves, D. Bernie. All these dudes is gangsta boogie, tattoos all over the place until them football numbers get put in front of their ass, then all of a sudden they start uh, nutting it up. Uh, oh, yeah, man, just you know what it is. But, yeah, you guys, um, whew, feeling a lot better, man. Feeling a lot better, man. Chilling. Okay, who wins the West play-ins? Shit, the Lakers are going to win the play-ins, and I, I, I'll be willing to say the Warriors are winning the play-ins. I'll be honest. Those are the two teams I think is going to win the play-ins. I, the, I don't see the Lakers losing, and I don't see the Warriors losing. You only need, what, two games to get one? Yeah, it's not going to be hard. 
D. Bernie says, these new school gangsters can't respect these tattoos in their face and stuff, man. They scribbled on like a desk in school. Yeah, I'm sitting there watching this dude right there. This dude got every possible mark he can have on every orifice of his face. Okay? But guess what? These motherfuckers got caught murdering somebody for some fucking, for some damn cheap ass rings that they pawned and shit. And, and his tattoo fair ass is about to do life and shit. Okay, Pelicans are going to lose. They're going to lose tomorrow. They ain't winning. Okay. Boston's here, I think. I don't know, man. Boston's bench is not what it used to be. Their, their bench is not what it used to be, and that's the problem with them. Their, their, their bench play. Their bench play is not good. Not good at all, bro. Okay, we're going to find out. All right, man. Is there anything else y'all talk? Y'all ready to talk about? Are we good in the hood? Let's see what else y'all saying. Sounds good to me. All right, y'all, man. No big deal. No big deal, man. We out here chilling. You ain't still looking tough, man. You know, I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere, dog. Still in wild mind. Uh, the Charles Barkley. <laughs> Charles Barkley, man. Yeah, Charles Barkley, man. They seven deep. We're going to find out. Who's a new school version of Charles Barkley right now? Probably the closest thing that I see is Zion, but Zion got more that's more air than him. They both got the same kind of build. Probably Zion Williams. Zion Williamson. All right, Bolon Bo, uh, salute to all y'all, man. I'll go ahead and take me some more of these, these pills and go to sleep for my back. But I'm, I'm feeling pretty good, dog. I've been out and about, running around. Um, but you know, don't wanna don't wanna relapse. So make it have a pop off. I'll holler at y'all, man. I'm about to check a filter.